<laughs> Hello, my friends in Christ Jesus. I hope you're having a blessed and awesome and wonderful day in the Lord Jesus. So I'm coming on here to say hi and to share something that happened to me yesterday. Um, and uh, as I said before that um, I was going to have my grandma's funeral. And so I went to my grandma's funeral yesterday and some crazy things happened. Um, and not only at the funeral, but also before she died and when I visited her. So I wanted to share these with you guys um, because I feel like they're very just supernatural and crazy. And, uh, you know, we are like, um, we're not fighting against flesh and blood, right? We're fighting against principalities and powers in high places, right? We are fighting against the enemy and the fallen angels and, you know, all of that. And so, um, so basically I went to my grandma's funeral yesterday and, um, my sister-in-law was helping with the, uh, uology and, um, just kind of taking the role of, uh, what a pastor would do because we didn't, we didn't, we couldn't get one. My mom couldn't get one. So, um, I said that I would also help in reading like the scripture verses and, um, just reading the Bible, you know, um, and I was going to do the Lord's prayer and just read off some scriptures to go along with the funeral. And, um, so, <laughs> so when I got to, uh, when I got to my mom's house and, uh, <clears throat> We got in the car and we were driving over to, um, we were driving over to the grave site to the, where the funeral is going to be held. It was going to be outside. And I just want to say, I'm not going to say who said what <laughs> to me, but, uh, just because it's not about the person, it's, it's about the spiritual warfare, you know, and, uh, sometimes you know, the enemy uses people to, to stop what Christ is doing, his work, you know? Um, so while we were in the car, there was a few of, quite a few of us in the car, we're carpooling. And one of them said to me, okay, so just make sure that you are, uh, I, I don't want you. So they're talking to me and they're saying, uh, okay, so this isn't for you to just preach, be preaching to everybody and telling everybody they're going to hell or they need to believe in Jesus, okay? Like, just make sure you're, uh, you know, we're not doing any of that. And I was like, what? I cannot believe that. Literally, like, Christian persecution right out the get-go, like, going to a funeral where you would have a pastor speaking and you would have, you know, like the perfect timing to talk about Christ because what is the reality is that someday we're going to die. Where are we going to end up? You know, and here, here I am getting to read the Bible and stuff. And then I am immediately being persecuted by the enemy to silence me right and to say like okay just making sure you're not going to be trying to save everybody at the funeral right and it's just like what I just could not believe it when I told my husband he was just like wow wow you know like the enemy is like and then once I got there and I was standing outside and you know talking with my sister-in-law about how we were going to go about our speech and stuff and um, I was, you know, calming, trying to keep her calm and stuff. And, um, and somebody else comes up to me and says the simps kind of the same thing. Like, so, you know, just, just making sure that you're not going to be trying to like preach to everybody and, you know, say everybody's going to be going to hell or whatever and stuff like that. And I'm just like, and I look at, <laughs> I look at, uh, my oldest brother who was standing there and 
I was like, yeah, okay, okay. The most dangerous person here at the funeral is the Christian in the house. Let's all persecute the Christian that's here. It was just like so crazy to me, you guys. It was so crazy. And um, in my head, I was like, you know, this, like, I am, I'm, I'm reading the Bible, y'all calm down, like, you know, and like, I'm not like, when have I ever just come out and been like, everybody's going to hell and like, you know, like some crazy message, you know, like I am been trained by the Lord to spread the gospel in, in a loving and gentle manner, you know, Christ-like and everything. So, but y'all, it was crazy. Can you imagine that? Like, just like, you know, lots of unbelievers in my family and whatnot. So I had to share that because I was just like, that is just such a, what have any, have you guys ever heard of that happening? Like, come on. (laughs) Like it was crazy. Um, and so I had to share that with y'all. And I also wanted to share, um, that, um, shortly before my grandma passed, she, uh, the nurse said that the nurse told my mom that, um, um, she, well, when my mom was sitting with her and she was going soon, my grandma said, death, death is coming or death is entering me. Like she, she is almost like she could see death or, or like experience or feel death's presence that was coming for her. Um, and, um, before that she said that the nurse, when the nurse was there, my grandma told the nurse, Michael is coming. Michael's coming for me. Michael is coming to get me and it's like Michael's coming you know and and, um my mom was like I was like well what do you think what you think so you think that she was saying that Michael the archangel was was coming for her you know and my mom's like yes because nobody there's only one cousin named Michael in our family that lives all the way in Idaho and he wasn't coming, you know, he he wasn't coming to visit or anything and she hadn't talked to him, you know? And so we were just like, whoa. So something told her that Michael was coming or Michael, the archangel himself said that he was going to get her, you know? And I just thought that was so crazy because have you guys ever seen, um, like people's testimonies of dying going to hell or going to heaven, you know, um, it's like the reality is when we die, a lot of people, the tormentors, the, the tormentors that come and grab every single person that dies without Christ, which is most of the time. So the, I know that the tormentors, they're, they're always ready to come and grab the people who die because most of the time they are the ones that get to take them. But we always have, like, when we die, somebody has to escort us. We, we need an escort to heaven, and we have to have an escort to hell. The tormentors come, or the angels come to escort us to heaven. And so, Archangel Michael came for my grandma and took her to heaven. Because you have both, either the tormentors get to take you, or the angels have to take you before the tormentors do, Right? Um, Because they're always there ready for the next person dying to just take them, right? Broad is the way to destruction. There's so many people going there, sadly. And the few that do, the angels are coming to be like, this, no, this one is, this one is with God. This one is one of God's people, you know, and the angel takes them to heaven. And so I wanted to share that with y'all because I thought that was like crazy, you know? And um, yeah, so... Uh, the funeral was good. I was not sad at all. (laughs) I did not cry at all because I knew where grandma was. She's with Jesus and that's just her body suit in that casket, you know. Um, it's going to get broken open during the rapture, you know, when all the dead in Christ's bodies get raised. 
Um, and so, yeah, the only sad part was just like my family that are not believers just being really sad, you know? Um, but yeah, I think it it was good and everything went great. And, um, I preached the word, read the scriptures, did the Lord's prayer and, um, told everybody that grandma was a Christian if they didn't know and that she loved watching the 700 club and she loved when I would come over and read the Bible with her and just talk about Jesus, you know, and, um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So I just want to share that with you guys and just give you an update, you know, and say, hello, I love you guys. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for your support and love. And, um, yeah, I'm doing great and I feel a lot better now that I've listened to the Lord to pause on my channel, you know, and kind of like focus where he wants me to. I have more peace now and I feel comfortable. Um, so that is good. We always can learn from things is like, one thing, one easy way to know if you're in line with God is that you have this joy and this peace and this comfort, you know, and when you're out of the will of God, you'll have anxiety and anxiousness and, you know, restlessness and stuff like that because you're buttonheads. <laughs> but yeah, so I love you guys and I'll see you guys again soon in the next one.